Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, we are in a 2023 BMW M3 Competition X-Drive. And what we are going to do is we are going to do a fuel economy test on this vehicle. So as you can see here, I have my engine set to efficient. Everything else is set to comfort. The four-wheel drive is on. I want my traction control fully involved because there is a little bit of rain tonight. So that is what's going on there. Filled the vehicle up with Chevron Premium 7.6 miles ago. It already thinks it's doing 24.9 miles per gallon. Now, this being an M3 X drive, it's rated 22 miles per gallon on the highway. My personal prediction is that this car is going to do very well compared to, to its EPA rating because it is designed for such high performance. I mean, it looks like we're turning, I don't know, we got the Star Trek gauge cluster, so a little under 2,000 RPMs to go 70 in eighth gear. Um, I have my cruise control set to 70 as I do during these tests. I can't use adaptive cruise control because you don't get that on an $88,000 M3 X Drive competition unless it had a different set of options than this one did. So anyway, I am using regular cruise control and uh, hopefully traffic will be cooperative tonight. Not currently raining, but I sort of expect a little weather off and on. So we'll see what it does. There's my heads up display. This is a very, very cool car, very fun to drive. A uh, good friend of mine, uh, this car is his, and he let me borrow it for, for a couple of days to make YouTube videos. So that's pretty awesome of him. I'm sure he'll be watching this, so thanks a lot, man. I do appreciate it. And uh, we're gonna continue down through the night, and I'm gonna have an update for you on the status right now. As we can see on our BMW Live Cockpit Professional, I have the Pacific Ocean to my right side and a blank wall of sand to my left side. That's actually Camp Pendleton Marine Base, so obviously we're lacking some detail there on our navigation map. But no matter, we have covered 38.7, 38.8 miles and the car thinks it's averaging 29.7 miles per gallon. I will note at this point that the gentleman who owns this car, his guess for the fuel economy test is 28. So we'll see how close to correct he is. Uh, traffic has been relatively cooperative and it's rained a little bit, but when it's rained, I've had to slow down. So, eh. Not that much, like to 65 or 60 instead of 70. Um, rain, in my opinion, typically hurts fuel economy. I think standing water adds drag to the tires, but there hasn't really been that much water on the road. And um, so yeah, I don't think the conditions are gonna hurt the test, at least so far. I will continue on down to the turnaround point and have another update for you right now. Okay, we have turned around. We are on our way back home. The car thinks we're averaging 29.5 miles per gallon, which, if true, is well above and beyond the 22 mile per gallon EPA highway rating. So, we will continue on. Uh, hopefully things stay smooth as they have been. Probably have one more update for you and then we will hit the Chevron station and see what it did. All right, so we are almost back. My average, the car thinks the average is down to 27.7, bubba. So I don't think we're gonna quite make 28, but who knows, maybe it'll surprise us. Uh, I've got about another 10 miles to go before we hit the gas station. I did hit a few minutes of rain, but uh, pretty much no traffic to speak of on the return route. So uh, let's get back to the Chevron and see how we do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We covered 117.8 miles and the car took 4.271 gallons of super unleaded. So let us do the math. 117.8 divided by 4.271 equals, woohoo, 27.5. So pretty close to what it was thinking it was getting. 
Since I restarted it, it's only showing me gallons per hour. I'll put it in gear. Can I make it show me? Yeah, I don't know. BMW M3s are not built for fuel economy tests, but it's pretty close to what it said it was getting and only a half a mile per gallon, four tenths of a mile per gallon off of what the uh, car's owner thought it would do. So that's pretty impressive. Instead of 22 miles per gallon, we got 27.5. I'll take that out of the old M3 competition. Uh, so anyway, that's my video for the fuel economy test on this car. Please like the video, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment, and always let me borrow your fancy new car when you get one so that I can make YouTube videos about it. Thank you.